Good morning, everyone. I have begun my journey home, but I've made a brief stop in a new area that I've wanted to check for milk snakes. I'm currently in southeastern Oklahoma and uh, found some nice looking habitat here. So I'm going to flip some rocks and see what I can turn up, hoping to see milk snakes from here, obviously. But anything else I can find is going to be welcome to. Um, it's been an insane trip, as I'm sure you all know by now after watching the rest of the videos. So hopefully I can round it off strong here. It's possible that I'm going to be kind of limited on time today because there is some tornadic weather coming in and I don't want a repeat of what happened earlier in this trip where we got sandwiched between multiple tornadoes and a bunch of storm chasers. So if the weather starts to go south, I'm probably going to dip. Yet another ring neck. Next snake for the day is another one that's been pretty common throughout the trip, a little rough earth snake. I'm kind of having a hard time actually turning up snakes here, which is kind of surprising. I was hoping I'd be able to get more, but oh, your rock's over here, buddy. Anyways, I'm going to keep at it and see if I can get something better. There's another rough earth. And a flathead. The grand slam of common Oklahoma snakes I've seen this trip at this spot. No milk shit. Well, it was kind of a pain because it was in that stack of rocks, but... There you go. <laughs> Milk snake at a spot I found on my own on Google Earth last night that could even be a county record. Don't know. That is awesome. Beautiful milk snake. It is starting to rain on me, but this is my first red milk snake from the state of Oklahoma. All the others we found have been Louisiana milks or intergrades. This guy is a red and he is beautiful. Look at that red head. Come on camera. Come on camera. There we go. Come on camera. <laughs> God dang it. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. That is one of the coolest milks I've seen this trip for a couple reasons. One, it is absolutely stunning. And two, this is a spot that I just completely winged it at. I uh, found it on Google Earth last night and saw that it was relatively on my way home, so I decided to stop. And uh, sure enough, turned up this guy. Absolutely stunning. Great looking red milk snake. I, I don't even know the total milk count for the trip, but uh, this one is a lovely addition. Freshly shed, beautiful freshly shed red milk snake in East Central Oklahoma. Awesome. All right, beautiful. Stay safe. Oh my God, double flip. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Oh my God. So I wouldn't have let that other milk go, flipped that rock, and as you saw, two beautiful, absolutely stunning milk snakes. This one right here is one of the nicest milk snakes of the trip, hands down. Look at that beautiful head. I mean, goodness gracious. Absolutely insane. All right, guys, it's really starting to rain on me now. I got to photograph and let these guys go, but holy crap. This is one of the highlights of the trip for me. These snakes are both absolutely incredible, especially that one. But oh my goodness, I could not believe that. I flipped that relatively tiny rock and there they both were just sitting there. Anyways, I'm gonna photograph them real quick. Well, the rain has cleared up a little bit for now and look at the sunlight coming through on these snakes. Absolutely unbelievably beautiful milk snakes. Definitely my favorite pair of milk snakes I think I've ever flipped. Uh, just unbelievable. So beautiful. Look at these animals. I think this one is the big girl and this guy's a little male. But uh, they're almost certainly a breeding pair, so I'm going to put them back under their rock and let them get back to business. Alrighty. There you go, guys. Thank you for existing and being so pretty. Oh my goodness. Come on, camera. Go on. Unbelievable. Well, I guess I'm gonna see what else I can turn up. This area is evidently better than I thought. Apparently I need to start recording myself flipping every rock. That is a beautiful speckled king snake. Right next to where those milk snakes were. Holy crap. This place is insane. 
any of you have ever wondered what a snake penis looks like, there it is. <laughs> Sometimes uh, snakes will evert them as a defense mechanism. And it's kind of working, that is terrifying. Put those away, young man. Put those away right this instant. I've heard about this, but I have never seen a snake that just will not put its penises away. These are called hemipenes, and they actually, I think they technically have four of them. I think there's two on each side. But uh, there's a unsolicited lesson in snake reproduction, for those of you who didn't know. Anyways, I'm going to put this guy back under his rock, and uh, I guess keep looking. I am going to record more of the things I'm flipping from now on, since the last three rocks I've flipped have had a king snake or milk snake under them. Insane. Go on. Go on. There it goes. Alright. A uh, little brown skink and a scorpion. What's crazy is the most common snake I've seen here so far is milk snakes. Got three milks, two ring necks, two earth snakes, and a speckle king. I've recorded like 30 rocks since the last Speckle King. And of course the one rock I flip after I stop recording, that little guy right there, has a Speckle King under it. Look at that, little baby one. Well, there you have it, another Speckle King. All right, little buddy. All right. I swear every time I stop recording, I flip a snake. So if it means I'm not gonna find any more snakes today, I'm just gonna keep recording until I run out of space and have to delete stuff. So there's so many Lamprapelt this year that I refuse to believe I'm not going to get a flip clip. Rock. Oh, king snake. Speckle king, number two. Nice. All right, well, I finally got a flip clip on my second baby speckle king at the spot. Look at this little guy, he's so small. Probably sibling to that one I just found, and maybe the bigger one is one of his parents. But I'm gonna put him back under his rock, and hopefully I'll get another milk snake next. Go on, buddy. It is awesome. I cannot believe how many lamp repelled this in general at this spot. Oh, tarantula. Sorry, I don't want to squish you with that rock, buddy. Look at that. Pretty cool. First one of those I've seen here. All right, guys, that first spot was really incredible, but I moved to another county now, and uh, I'm trying to get milk snakes in this one, too. Um, it's not too far away, but I was just, uh, you know, I got a decent amount there, and I just wanted to hit some new stuff, so I'm going to hit this and see if I can turn up anything else. Oh, Speckle King. Yes. Beautiful one. I knew this was gonna be a good rock. Look at this guy. Fourth speckled king snake of the day. And probably the nicest one yet. Really beautiful. Beautiful yellow color on this guy. The rest have been kind of white. Which normally I like better, but this is a really good yellow. Well, there we go, four speckled kings. And I've officially seen more speckled kings here than milk snakes now. Check out that belly though. That is awesome. Good looking snake. All right, buddy. Put you back under your little rock and uh, see if we can find your tricolored brethren. There's actually a couple good looking rocks right here that I haven't flipped yet. Got my bag. Okay. My buddy under there. Look at this. This is perfect. Rock on rock. Rock on jumbly rock. Nothing. So there's been a lot of ringnecks here, but not nearly as many as we saw in Kansas yesterday. Obviously. Oh yeah. There we go. Speckled King number five for the day. They just keep getting better. Better and better. This is absolutely ridiculous. Five speckle kings and three milks so far. I cannot believe this. I had just this random area that I scouted out last night and I'm checking out today on my way home. 
This was my one stop for the day. I've been here for a couple hours because I can't stop finding king snakes. Well, speckle king snake number five for the day. Back under his rock. Holy crap, this is insane. This is one of the best days of snake hunting I think I've ever had. Just the sheer number of snakes that are here and the fact that this is a spot that I discovered on my own make it so much better. I haven't flipped any of this yet. All right. Come on, milk snake. Four more speckled kings. I'll always take more speckled kings, but a milk would be cool because I haven't gotten one at this county yet. I see the rock that there's going to be one under two. I can't see that one. This one right here. Stand by. I don't know if this one's going to come up either, actually. What we did, Speckle King. What on earth? This is absolutely insane. Speckle King number six. Another baby. Oh, grumpy boy. Whoa. All right, buddy. You two, back on your rock. This spot is insane looking. I've not seen a single snake here yet, but just look at it. Look at these rocks. I think they might be a little bit too open and exposed. And there's no way there's not at least speckled things here. There should be milks too. Finally got a snake here. I think this is speckle king number seven. These are the best looking rocks I've flipped all day. And just one speckle king so far. Alrighty, speckle king number seven. Whoa, speckle king number seven. I'm gonna put this guy back under his rock. That's a big tadpole. Stopped at this bridge to see if there were any turtles and saw this guy swimming around. I wonder if he's gonna... Ooh, there he goes. Good looking stuff right through here. Little tiny, it's a nice rock on rock. Ooh, little worm snake. First one of those I've seen today. 